Well, hello, Shelly Rocks here. So you might be here wondering, hey, what's it like to run a dungeon, have heroes come in and get traps and get them and stuff like that? Well, fear no more. You can find out now because this is Dungeon Tycoon and it's a prologue, which is another uh, game industry developer term for a, a demo. I don't know why they call it prologue. I think it's maybe it's because it's the the setting up the sort of game so it's an easy way of doing like a, a demo that leads into the full game give you a little taster so to get you get you like um you know into the into the game so i've played in the past games like uh dungeon keeper where you have to build your own dungeon and then you get like uh heroes and stuff like that and also keep rl so yeah this is a, a pixel uh, graphics type game so we're gonna have a little look at this so uh, it's it should be out now already but the demo is still up so I just thought I'd uh, check it out and it's by a developer called Lunheim studio so yeah let's have a little look not played any this before so it's all gonna be fresh and new right so what do I want to call my dungeon okay let's call it best not have spiders that's gonna be my dungeon name it looks like I've only got the one map and we're going to leave the tutorial on because otherwise it's going to be a hot mess of me clicking on things for half an hour not knowing what i'm clicking on so not that it won't be a hot mess anyway right let's go okay welcome master i'm delighted to see you're final you are finally awake it has been quite lonely here okay i'm not gonna lie I jokingly called this not spiders. <laughs> My henchman looks like, oh no, am I the spider king? Uh, let's technically say that's not a spider because it's not got eight legs. I can only see four legs, therefore it is not a spider. Right. Uh, this place is a mess. Have no worries, we can fix it up. We'll start attracting delicious adventure. Okay, uh, delicious adventurers. Let's start off by building a door. So we have to click on the build button and build door okay yes you did say door too many times but luckily you are not a spider right so uh switch to the build mode and build any door facing the bridge now where, where's door at okay maybe under the door category so we've got two doors we've got a dungeon door and a wooden door a glorious double door or a simple door I want to do oh I see so this is actually me dungeon this bit I wanted to build it over here. okay is it a cart over there can I build it here oh and who's this as well who's that one okay I'm gonna build me double door here and I'm gonna slap it slap bang it in the middle Right, next, let's build a chest to store the loot of fallen heroes. So, chest, I'm, I'm assuming, and we've got a pot or a wooden chest. Now, I don't know if this is going to be me, like, a HQ room, or if no one else can go in here. I don't even know if this is going to be, like, a tower defense thing, so this could be the worst ever design. Right, we need to find the wooden chest, which we have done. I need to place it. So R is rotate. I'm going to stick it in the corner of the room. Am I? No, I'm not. R does not rotate. Um, Let's just stick it in the corner then. Okay, nice job. Let's build a spawner so you can summon me to deal with filthy adventurers. Go to the spawners tab and build a small spawner. So quite an interesting terminology that because that's the sort of thing you get in the likes of uh, Minecraft and stuff. Um, and this is going to spawn a monster every 25 seconds. Do I want to put it next to the door or away from the door? I'm going to put it there from the door. Right, right now I can't even see. Let's light up the place with torches. So we are going to do light source torches. And I'm going to stick them on the outside of the door. Well, the inside of the door, like that. Right, I knew you still had it. Now go out of build mode and assign me to the spawner. Click on the spawner and then click on change. So come out of build mode. So we'll press escape. Nope, that's not it. We'll click on the big giant X, which would probably make more sense, shells. Okay, and then we're going to put our monster in here. Called Crawler. 
Finally, this feels amazing. <laughs> now you can decorate the dungeon to your liking. Time for some research. So we're gonna do some researchy uh, nodey things. So we're gonna click on the bug. Now this is gonna be our tech tree. Potion business. Don't forget to look at the quest panel upper left. Uh, start the next day whenever you're ready. So what's that then? Unlocks the potion dispenser. I'm intrigued. Oh, please follow the tutorial. I'm getting told off. Right, so we need to click on start next day, which is up there. It's the worst dungeon ever, look. This is like the, the skill set I have when I play Minecraft and I'm like, people build amazing houses and I've just built a shoebox. So we're going to start the next day and we're waiting for our first visitor. I'm assuming they're going to come from over there. So what's this? Visitors. So we've got 11 of those, none of those, none of those. Okay, here is a visitor. Observe your dungeon. Won't that kill them? Oh no, it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like a theme park. Um, yes, I was a bit rough on them. When heroes die, they get really annoyed and that can affect your dungeon's popularity negatively. Hey, you earned a soul. Anyway, let's try this again. So I've built a theme park. That's literally what this is. So here, here they come. Hey, look, welcome to Dungeon World. Ooh, 10 coins. Wonder what's in here. <laughs> oh, no. Ouch, that hurt. But you see how happy the adventurer got. Building a dungeon is all about optimizing fun. So the okay, so he's happy and he's going, but he uh, injured that one. Make sure to strike a good balance between keeping them happy and annoying them with cheeky traps. Strike a good balance is key. Good, mo good luck, my lord. Right. Can I build? I can't build anything else though. So they're just gonna keep coming now. Okay, so we're having a little bit of a battle. And then they defeated that. See, I don't like this business this business model because it's $10 to, to go in and then they're taking $12 from there. It doesn't seem to want to let me do any more stuff though. Oh, we're researching as well. Yeah, I think, I think this business model is not going to work. Right, let's speed it up a bit because I obviously need to... Finish the research. And try and kill those. So these different different heroes have different traits. It must be, mustn't it? Cause that looked like a thief. That looks like a knight. I don't seem to be able to actually do anything with these though. I've only got six. No, three attack, eight health. Okay, he's obviously completely... Okay. Yeah, he, he's got to be away, isn't he, look? I don't know how much health you have, but it's nowhere near enough for us to get them. Right, we're going to speed it up. There's two visitors left. See, that one didn't even get attacked. I feel like such a dungeon, dungeon master failure. Right, we're ready for the last one. Surprise! Oh dear, surprise is on me. So the research should be finished now. Hopefully, we're on 90, 90, no, 89%. Ooh, is that a mage? Surely I can defeat a, no, I can't even defeat a mage. Right, so it says, finish the day to unlock. So let's end the day. Are you sure you want to end? Yes. We'll end the day, because I'm just losing money. Right, so we've unlocked now a potion dispenser. Allows heroes to purchase potions. Now, I don't like the sound of that because my monster's getting beaten and I need to give them potions. Incredible loot, horrible loot. I wish there was more monsters. Um, Should I... Can I build another spawner? Well, yes I can. And can I rotate stuff now? I think I can. Right. So, ooh, how are we going to do this? Right, let's put it on pause first of all while we think. So I can build a trap. We've also got this 
new research, camping spots, defense totem. Defense totem sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, we're, we're doing the defense. Apparently it starts researching as soon as you click it. Now, let's do a spike trap. As soon as they come in. And then I'm going to do a potion. A potion thing. Now, can we do walls? Let me see. Let me see. I can do rooms. Hmm. Should I put, like, loads of monsters in and not give them a chance? Or is it best to only do a few? All right, that's three monsters. Surely this is not... <laughs> Surely they won't be able to do anything with this. So we've got the potions. We'll do the potion thing in the corner. Yeah, we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll put the potion thing at the back. So then, hopefully these will either attack them or weaken them enough. And then when they come to leave, these might have spawned again. Right. Let us see if this even works. Oh, we need to... Oh. Oh, it's, it's okay. I should be able to... Oh, I've only got one monster. Oh, summon new monsters. How do we do this then? Right. Summon new monsters, 250 gold. Right, choose one. What do I want? I don't have a clue what any of them look like, though. Um, that looks funky. What's this one? It is a kobold. Oh, nice. That is a nice mixture of higher attack and higher damage than the skeletons. Skellington? I can't say skeleton. I also own skeleton. Um, that... The goblin would have been good as a tank, but I'm quite happy with the kobold, though. I think we will uh, come out of that, and I'm going to assign that to that. And then I've got no money left, so yeah, let's uh, start the day. Day two starts. Let's see how we get on with this now. Uh, we need to unpause it as well. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. Is it still 10 gold to get in? Yes. Right, so I've got a few monsters here now. Okay, he's gone. He's gone to get the potion. He's getting the potion. Now he he didn't like that because <laughs> he got beat. So, is this a terrible dungeon for them? Oh, what's this new thing as well? Quest for sell five potions and also research one item. Oh, we've researched that one. Wait a minute, what's going on? I feel like two monsters is almost like too much. Can we... I don't think we can change stuff while it's going. I mean, you, you've got a chance of getting in now before that spider comes, though. Okay, no, you've not. You've not got a chance. <laughs> You're not even going to get the potion in time. Uh, I think I've made the dungeon too hard. Right, let's let's speed it up. I mean, we're we're getting money though. It's profit for shells. <laughs> oh, I think he did. He get a potion then? <laughs> Maybe he's he's dead. Let's see if anyone can survive this. The spider's the first to go. Then they run and try and get the potion. Uh, is he going to get it in time? No. Killed by the goat. Was it a kobold that? I can't remember. Yeah, it was a kobold. Oh, you can rename them as well. I, feel, I, I do need to make this a bit easier, though. Because there's no way for them to get the potion in time while they're getting attacked, which seems strange. Okay, we're uh, unlocking stuff here. If I can sell four more of them, we'll do that. Oh, we can get some gold there. Nice. I do need to kill seven visitors, though, as a task. So maybe we're not doing the bad thing. Ooh, get that potion. Well, he got it. <laughs> then he immediately died. I reckon we've got, like, one more to get. Yeah, one more to get. How will you fare? How will 
Sire Jackson, the Ice Wizard, fair. Okay, he could use a heal right now. Okay, you did not survive. Unlucky. It's harder than Squid Games. I'm going to collect that. Got some mushrooms. You have unlocked mushrooms. I don't know what that means, but we've got that. Right. Next person. Now, we are going to get... Ooh, finish the day to unlock. Yeah, we are going to get a very unhappy dungeon now, I think, at the moment. Because we've got so many people dying. So, I'm going to let let it finish off the day. Yeah. Kobold is killing too many heroes. <laughs> I can't change. I can't change it though while it's going. There's, there's nothing I can do. I need to get rid of that tip. Can I? Yeah, I think I think once we end the day, we can we can we can do it. All right, there's one left. We don't think we did a full day before, did we? Nah. Is this the last one? This must be the last one. Excellent. Right. That was really bad. <laughs> well, it was bad for them. Bad for dungeon popularity. Right, we've got a defense totem. Place it in your dungeon to give nearby heroes a better chance of survival. Now, would that work? So if I go to build and do defense and just stick it in the middle... Would that work? We'll give that a go. I don't know if this is still going to be too overpowered. And we need to do the research as well. More... Ooh, unlocks a camping spot for heroes to stay a while and rest. Um, What would be good? Let's try camping spot. Right, start the day. Come out of that. See, so that's going to give them a boost. Hopefully, okay. I want to want to watch this and see how we how to get off. Okay, so it sort of works a little bit. He's got a potion. Yeah, he's still he's still killing stuff. He's going to have a better chance when it's like this. See? Come on, you need to take them out in that area. If you take the kobold out. Oh dear, Kobold is still taking too many people and wrecking them. I mean, if you can take the spider out first. Yes. Right, are you going to be able to get... You might be able to get the potion this time. Okay, more than one... one yes, this is what we want. More of a chance now, look. Okay. Good stuff. Now the spider's gonna come back. I mean, not the spider, the, the four legged the, the dog's gonna come back. Right, you need to get out of there before that kobold comes back. Okay, he's got the loot. He's getting a potion. And he's off. Although you have just come back in. Quick, let's go and collect this. That. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Nice. So that'd be good now for the camping thing. Once I've done that one, I could stick that outside. So they are sending more regularly now, which is good because it means they're going to come in, grab some stuff. Potion sales are good. Am I getting a hundred? How much do I get for selling a potion? Oh, we've run out of stock. We actually have run out of stock. Oh, these are cool. So these are different like character classes. What is that one? So that's a ranger. I've actually run out of potions now, so I don't think... Can you get more potions? Just get out of here. So I do, I do like the fact that this is different classes and stuff. That's really cool. Oh dear. I'm a bit worried about you. I don't think you're going to be surviving. I don't think there's any potion stock. 
Oh, no. So how do I get stock? Oh, I can do the price. It must be a per day resource. Yeah, it's the, the kobolds killing too many things again, look. I mean, if they came more than one at a time, that'd be fine. I think maybe the kobold on his own would be quite good. Um, but if there's two enemies, you don't really stand much of a chance, do you? I mean, you might be able to take the kobold out on your own. Oh no! You sadly can't. Let's look at the kobold's health. Yeah, half his health. Oh no, his, his health's come back up to full again. <laughs> I really want to drop some more items and that, but I think, I think we have to wait for the end of the turn. Okay, end of day, day three. Killing heroes will upset them. It'll also reward you with a soul, which you can use to do all sorts of things. Maybe there is some benefits then. Um, right, feelings. I could get rid of the spider and just have the kobold and see how we do with that. Um, potions dispenser. I could, I could have multiple potion dispensers in here that maybe might work now how do i remove something so i've got that there can i like right click and do i don't think i can remove something which seems absolutely bonkers oh we've got the mushrooms as well i don't know what it it, it gives me a vibe right, we've got we've got souls can we use the souls for anything yet they can be utilised to enhance your monsters. Apparently, it's something we can start doing. Uh, there's my overview. I like the how, how in-depth this can be, though, because it does look like it's going to be one of those games where the more you play, the better it gets, because you're going to be unlocking more and more stuff. I've got nothing that's going to help the heroes. I mean, I could add, I could add another platform... Um, potion dispenser ideally I would like to do something with this oh we can remove it look there's a bull that's not very dungeoneery look it's got a bulldozer icon right I'm gonna do that and let's see if I I don't think we should put like loads of potion dispensers in let's just do it like this let's start the day just the kobold Let's get these coming in. So these, these should handle this a lot better now. See, look, you can get a potion. Then you can have a go at that. See, look, you're victorious. Then you can run away. Oh, no, they're buying potions when that's not ready. Right, we're, we're doing the research, though, which is good. Get that potion. Go on, slay that kobold. And we've unlocked the new techers. See if you just... Oh, if you just got the potion... Well, no, no. If you just got the treasure and left, you would have been fine. So we're getting five coins, I think. It's going to take me a long time to pay this off. So these tra even these traps uh, rearm a little bit, I think. Okay, so I think we have got something new. We've got uh, have tw host twelve visitors in a day and research one item in the, t the tree. So we should get that next. And I think we might do this twelve one next as well. That one because the these should all hopefully survive, and then I'll get the accomplishments. Right, nice. We've got the twelve one. Grab that. And the next one is kill 12. So what we can do for that is we can add we can add the spider back in. Oh, we killed one then. The sneaky little one at the end of the day. Oh, I like this. I do like this though. So now we've got a camping spot. Which means I could put that outside. 
Oh, or will it? And that's going to be interesting. So where do I place the camping spot? No. That is at all not where I thought it was going to be. That's actually inside the dungeon. Uh, we have got new tech as I need to do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, we've got like a camping magic toast totem that boosts their attack. Um, do I want to boost it? New room size as well. Oh, I just thought of something. Right. Could I do it like this? Can I link? Can we have multiple dungeons, first of all? Right, so we'll, we'll do an experiment. We'll do... What size room do I want? We'll do another room. Now, do I have to add this to that one? Or... Yeah, how is this going to work? Right, this room is not reachable. So... Could I put it like... Oh, yeah. Put it there like that. Then put a door in. And then if they survive that bit, they could camp in this room, look. And... I could put another monster spawner in. Would that be evil? Would we put monster spawner in the room where they can recover? Yeah. Um, I want to put it... Let's put the monster spawner in here. Just intrigued how this will work. So my, my thought process with this is they'll come in, damage themselves on that, and then they'll come and fight that one. And then if they manage to do that one, they can come in this room. Now, this I reckon this needs move this needs moving. Um let's go into build. This is gonna be like the reward, isn't it? So if you if you complete the whole dungeon, you can come in here and get that. We can also click on it and do lock. It can be locked or unlocked now. What does let's try and lock it and see what happens. Can they can they force it open? I don't have a clue, but we're gonna find out. And also, let's make it a little bit easier for them, so I want to Oh, we know we're researching it. We're going to do the, the attack token. Okay. I'm going to start the day. Interesting to see how this works now if they can bang that open and get the gold out of it. Okay, so here they come. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm going to attack you. Yes. Raw, raw. I am. Um, who are you, actually? Okay, he's, get, he's getting his, he's getting his, his health. Nice. Defeated it. Right, we're going to the next room. And straight away, there's an enemy in there. Your friend is not actually helping you. There we go. He has done. He's helped. Okay, it's locked. Oh, so they can't actually get into it. So could I, could I unlock it? I can unlock it. They're actually, out, they're actually healing here. Look. Okay, it's a bit of a... Uh, yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> there's quite a few of them, though. And it did say about killing them, didn't it? Right, you got, you got 20 gold from that. Am I happy with you getting 20 gold? That's taken a long time to respawn, though, isn't it? Oh, we actually got, we've actually got a, a new thing we can claim. Research. Oh, to sell 12 potions. We definitely could have done some of that. Yeah, I think my monsters are actually getting overrun now. Don't understand the gold in that, though, because I could just lock that and have, you know, no one get the gold. There's no... Oh, wait a minute. Have we got... Oh, yeah, we've got these. Look. We can collect these. Collect spider eggs. Ooh. I 
think it's going... Let's, let's speed this up. I think it's a bit too easy for me. Camping spots have run out of... Okay, so if you only camp for a certain while, then they run out of stuff. Right, I'm waiting to get six visitors. One gold. Yeah, no stock. There's nothing left for them here, look. <laughs> There's no potions, nothing to camp. But at least we get the daily... I mean, we do get the daily gold, don't we? Let's lock it. I'm having that gold. It's going to be my gold. Yeah, the, the, I don't think they can open that. And then I can fill that up with delicious gold. Do I get the gold from them at the end? I'm on 12. Yes. Now can I claim that? Why, why? Ooh, so I can extract that with a soul. If I wanted to. Okay. So it does seem quite hard to actually balance the, uh, the actual dungeon, but... I think now we've got multiple rooms and stuff, though. That's the right way to go. And like I said, killing them will upset them. It'll also get, get your soul upgrades. Interesting, right. That's all I'm going to look at for now. So I'm going to do a new save. Let us return. Nice. Exit to main menu. Yes. Okay, so Dungeon Tycoon. Very interesting looking little little game. Uh, I like the premise of it's not about just defending the dungeon. It's about getting the most profit from the heroes. So, yeah, that looks like that might be fun to unlock some more of it. So let me know what you think of it. If you did like watching that and you want to see more games like this, don't forget to like and comment on the video. And if you've got any games that you want to suggest to me, also don't forget to, you know, drop me a link or just mention the... Uh, the game below in the comments and yeah that's it for now this is dungeon tycoon prologue thank you for watching see you next time